barely done any hauls on this channel girl i'm here for y'all i'm gonna start doing more hauls which means i have to spend more money but it's fine <laughs> This haul is surrounded by my work fashion. Now, I work at a company that is completely casual, pretty much wear what you want, as long as you don't like a tramp. I definitely took that very far when I first started. Like, I was on the brink of looking trampy. I wouldn't say I look bad, but like, I want to be the sort of girl that makes an effort when she goes into work. I want to be the sort of person that like romanticizes her life. I wanna come into the office with my water bottle in my hand and my bag on my shoulder. I wanna open up my laptop and feel like a bad bee when I'm doing my work. You feel nice when you look nice. So since autumn and winter is coming around, I thought what better time to upgrade my wardrobe than now. I actually took out a bunch of my clothes and I'm about to sell them, probably on vintage. It's mainly like hoodies that I don't want anymore, a bunch of tops, and like festival sort of things like in my festival era I only went to one lol I went to one festival but I was dressing like a circus every day the girls changing now like if you guys knew me like back in my orange days oh my gosh I rocked orange more than orange Wednesdays if you know you know I wore orange every single day and like I wanted to wear like the most outlandish colors like neon all the time when I walk down the street I want you thinking why is that traffic cone moving that is the sort of vibe that I was going for but these days I've gotten into like my browns and my nudes basically I'm becoming like every other girl on social media right now so I'm just wanting to like encapsulate that in my wardrobe so I went out and bought a bunch of stuff for work mainly but also for church because every Sunday I am ripping out my wardrobe trying to find something to wear because like, I want to look cute I want to look oh just so put together when I go to church and I end up wearing the same thing every single time and I'm fed up of it and now it's changing okay so the first few things I wanted to buy was just basic tops like I need basic tops I run out of basic tops all the time and I also bought in two other colors these are from Sheen. It's just like a beigey top, for like it will go with everything. And the material is so good. Like it's like a Skims dupe. I love this like swimming costume material. It's so good and like not see-through at all. That's the one thing I love about this material. But they don't do this in white, this particular top. So that was upsetting. Um, and I also bought it in black, obviously. <sighs> if you saw me walking down the street, with my bag, it's over there, I don't want to ruin my camera setup. I should have probably got that. Wouldn't you think that I'm like a celebrity? But like on Pinterest, like I do Pinterest photos of my, oh, I need to do that. I really want to start a TikTok by the way, guys. I want to start a TikTok of like books that I read, but like book aesthetic. Lifestyle videos like me like filming my day, but like ones that like I do different shots and different angles. And then also like my, my fits. I want to be that girl. And the thing is, I don't even think that girl exists. My goal recently has been making my TikTok algorithm so good, like so aesthetic, so motivating. It gets me up to like clean my room. It gets me up to like do life and do life well, you know? Whilst I'm really inspired, I have to remember that like these people are not like this all the time. TikTok coming soon, also podcast coming soon. <sighs> There's a lot to do. I have tops that are like this, like a bit lower and I don't dislike them but in winter you need something that's covering the chest a little bit more like I even need to get some that are like more um like turtlenecks but I don't like turtlenecks because I have a really round face if you didn't already know and therefore anything like up here like it, it accentuates it all the more like I need to have like um what's it called a hint neck a sneaky neck what is it called those ones that go like a hint in neck what is it? I need to Google that. Turtle neck. Mock neck. <laughs> Hint neck. <laughs> Sneaky neck. <laughs> I don't know what my life is and I feel like in autumn it will be perfect because it's like covering my chest. Also the one that I have is really nice. I still will wear it. But it's also like you have to keep pulling it up to like make sure that you know you haven't got a bit too much cleavage showing, do you know what I mean? And although I don't really mind it on my day to day in the office when I'm like, you know, bending over, I, just, I don't want, you know, there's men there. 
I'm a, I'm a pure girl. No sex before marriage. This is um very Christian girl. I was talking to my mum about how I wanted to do a haul. She was like, oh, are you going to do a Christian girl modest clue and all? And I was like, oh, I should actually call it that. And she's like, no, don't, because they'll come for you for everything. I was like, that's true. Because if I turn around and they say it makes my bum look really good, all the Christians are going to be like, don't say that. Your bum should not look good. Hide your bum. And I'm going to be like, oh, I'm so sorry. This is from Sheen. I also got it in black because why not probably we'll get it in a few more but i always like to be careful i will buy it because you can't return um what are they called i always call them leotards body suits everyone laughs at me for calling them leotards but like of course they got like the the inspo from like little kids doing gymnastics you can't return them because of like hygiene reasons so you have to be really careful where you don't like buy a whole bunch thinking they're all going to be good and you can't return them thinking they'll fit, thinking they won't be see-through, thinking they're not gonna be too tight on the crotch. No one talks about that. Does anyone talk about that? Because I talk about that. I don't like when a bodysuit is too tight on my downstairs. I wanna breathe. I wanna feel like it's free down there. I don't wanna feel like it's being suffocated and I'm gonna develop a yeast infection over the 12 hours I'm wearing it for work. I think it's from the same like Sheen line, Sheen Bay. <laughs> The things they come up with. It's not the same like swimsuit material, but it is like thick. Like it literally does not, it's really good material. Um, And it's gonna be nice and warm in winter. 10 out of 10 from these. So I will get more colors because I know that they're good. I would put all of my different tops on, but my hair looks really good right now. And I don't wanna ruin it by having to like put on every single top. And it's also like so draining. Like you know when the top is like a little bit tight and you go through like a whole, mini like panic attack of claustrophobia like oh my gosh like i can't get this top on like, i don't want to do that on to the trousers i have wanted trousers for such a long time i have trousers but they would only really look good with like dolly shoes or heels wait let me see if i can <laughs> um you had a good enough look i'm not doing any more these are from uniqlo if you guys are from London or anywhere that's like a little bit cooler than Bristol, you will know of Uniqlo. But I don't have it. I was talking to Naz the other day about it and he was like, well, you don't have that in Bristol. I was like, I, do, I know you do it to rub it in my face. I know you do it because you know I live on a farm and you live in London. Whatever, Naz. If you guys know me, I'm a short girl. Actually, work measured me the other day. We got tape measure out because I needed to measure something for a wall thing that we're putting up. And I was like, someone measure me. Measure me guys, took my shoes off and everything because I was like, I am not four foot 11. I knew I was taller, but my mum was convinced that I was four 11. I wanted to go home that night and I wanted to go Trish. I'm five foot and guess what? Guess what guys, even though my, my colleagues are not pro measurers, they saw five, wait for it, five, one, my life has changed. I'm officially shopping in the tool section on Pretty Little Thing. I was looking for petite trousers on TikTok because I've realized now that TikTok is a far better search engine than Google or Pinterest. Pinterest is good for ideas, like aesthetics, you know, like an outfit. But in terms of like trying to find an actual like clothing brand, you go on Pinterest, you click something and it takes you to like someone's affiliate link and it's like somewhere in like Germany, which I cannot ship to the UK unless I want to spend like big bucks. So it's just impossible. Or like you've got like a whole bunch of middle-aged women say, I just found these jeans and these jeans are the best thing ever. People been saying that it was tailored to my body. And I'm like, I just want to know what jeans, girl. But I was looking and I found Uniqlo and I was like, oh, this looks great. So in the comments, everyone saying it, this girl was like extra small and she had like my build. She was short like me. She was like, skinny-ish like me um, and I was like yeah I'm gonna get it this is how far out the trousers went now I don't know if that was a malfunction on the Uniqlo side or I was completely getting this girl's body type wrong assuming that she was the same size as me hell no they were so big they were so baggy they looked like I borrowed not just my mum's but my dad's trousers now you know that that was bad and I was like I cannot wear these I wanted to because they were a lot of money and I was I'm gonna have to firm the four pound return oh it was horrible whilst they don't like you don't take it out of your account it gets taken off of your refund it's just still painful to know that that one simple mistake has costed me a subway but it's fine because I went back and I persevered and I was like, you know what? One of them's going to fit me. They are. Try me. They're going to fit me. So I bought them in the size below. I got extra, extra small. Now, I have been working out. So these are a little bit tight. I don't know if you can tell. I thought I'm going to lose the weight 
and you just have to be like fixated on the future. These are the brown trousers. Aren't they just the cutest thing? I just love them so much. They also do them in grey and I'm definitely gonna buy them in grey. They're actually really comfortable. Like you can probably move around in them, which like, for me, I'm up and down. And in our office, we are at the end of the office. I want to go for a walk at lunch. I'm gonna go for a walk because I can move in these trousers. Next trousers are these really cute like drawstring, sort of like joggery, but not trousers. I don't really know how to explain like what sort of style it is, but all I know is that they're really nice. They're really comfortable. If you got a little bit of food belly, you ain't gotta worry about nothing. Those, you gotta worry. I could not eat a fat meal with those on. Like they, they would have to come off before I have a big meal. The only thing is that they're a little bit see-through, but if you wear like nude, any nude underwear, you'll be completely fine. I haven't been rating any of these stuff. I used to do that, but I am really easily pleased. I saw this video the other day where it said, some say easily pleased, I say frequently happy. I love that. I love that so much. I think that that encapsulates me as a person. Next item of clothing. One thing I have learned from my many years of doing try on hauls, is that you need to clean up whilst you're going like you can't wait till the end especially if it's a like decently long haul there is no way that i'm getting to the end of the video which i've done several times and you're exhausted you've tried on every little piece of clothing you are boiling i can't tell you how well it's hot outside anyway it's so hot and i'm like oh lord give me the strength but it's also like in general like you're moving around a lot you're moving in the clothes trying to show what they look like you're karate chopping the air and like it's just exhort like my fitbit is going to be blinking at me saying girl even though i want you to be fit you got to stop try on hauls will make you exhausted and i'm not so leaving all my clothes out until the end when i'm exhausted i'm like i can't even get in my bed right now and then you know what happens knowing me everything goes on the floor days later still not picked up i can't do that nope. so next up is these jeans these are also from sheen again oh, falling over i bought these jeans and i did not like them so i liked them when i ordered them and then when i got them and i looked at them i was like these are not what i ordered and they were they were what i ordered and my bad i ordered a color that was brighter than what i anticipated and when I first put them on, I was like, these are ugly. These are like almost like white jeans. Like, why do they look like this? My mum's like going, oh, they look different. And like, even though she was complimenting me and I appreciate you, mother, is it just me? But when someone says it, it looks different, I think I don't want to be different. I don't want to stand out. I don't want to walk down the street and be like, oh, those are different. Like, <laughs> it made me feel really insecure. And then I put it on my private story with my friends. And I was like, help me. Does this look good? But then everyone was like, yeah, it looks really good. And I was like, okay, they do look good. I wore them the day after to work. And I was like, actually... I really like these jeans. I will get like ones that are a little bit darker as well, but I really like this. I feel like with the dark top, it really suits because like it's a bit of a contrast. Um, also, if you know me, I love mum jeans. They just go with everything, especially when you're wearing like a tight top and then baggy jeans. I feel like it really complements your figure. But the only thing that does not complement my figure is that half of my jeans make my mum look baggy. Bum looks always baggy, and like whilst I am a Christian girl, whilst this is well, this is not a Christian haul. I'm a Christian girl that is wearing clothes that is modest. Well, <sighs> let's not go. Let's not go into that word. Point is, I have good intentions. I'm a good intentioned Christian girl, but I don't want my bum to look saggy. Like whilst that may be controversial to some Christians out there, I have a decent buttocks. Right? I'm. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna appreciate what God gave me. And I'm not, I'm not putting on clothes that takes away from all that God has given me. Now, I'm not saying I need to walk around with batty riders on. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I need to be twerking in people's faces so know that I have a nice figure. But I am not wearing clothes that sag my bum. Um, half of my jeans weren't giving me this, but these ones are giving me it. They're also the perfect height. Sheen petite section is really good. Like I struggled so much growing up with petite because it wasn't really a thing back then like petite and tall sections and also like plus size sections were not a thing so us girls in any different than like the typical five foot six girl body we were struggling buy them really long which i usually did and then have to roll them up which looks so ugly now looking back at it i'm like why 
why but then also like why clothing brands did you not help me your poor girl was having to roll up jeans like she was like a girl from Essex you know the one store that does not fit my body type Primark I didn't even let you guess but I'm, I just have to say it Primark jeans make me look so ugly why do I have friends that go to Primark and they buy a pair of jeans a pair of mum jeans a pair of skinny jeans we go to like um, Primark after college because we had to go to town first and we'd all like you know go outside McDonald's and you know what normal teenagers do and we go into Primark and we would go into the changing rooms and we try on our clothes and I try on my jeans ugly every time friend puts it on she looks like a supermodel and I'm like what is going on I look like her a rounding melon I, I've never I've never seen my body like that not even pretty little thing has given me this sort of look I've tried I've tried it Pretty little thing I don't really shop on there to be fair. So you know, like if I'm really in dire need to get something ASAP because she and you're waiting until like 2025 to get anything delivered. I actually ordered this in 2018 before the pandemic. Um, only just getting it now. Um, I think that's all of my trousers now. I think that's almost everything. Oh, I really hope that's the end of it because I'm so hot. I'm so hot. Quick interlude. I was halfway through editing this video and I was like... I bought more clothes than that. And I probably forgot about it because of the ridiculous heat wave and the thought of even putting... A sweater on is ridiculous I do not have enough jumpers so again I bought this one well two of them with the hopes that they would be good and then I could buy more so this is what it looks like and I personally prefer this sort of fit than like a long baggy jumper and I think part of it is because I'm short and I feel like when it's long I do just look like a square. Unless it's a um, like a normal cotton jumper, I feel like those I can get away with them being a bit baggier, but when it's like a knitted material, I like it to be like this sort of cropped. And at work, I would just put like um, either a black bodysuit underneath, especially when it's really cold, so it'll be extra warm, or just like a vest, I can just tuck it into my jeans or whatever I'm wearing. But I feel like this is really cute. I feel like this would look nicer with like darker jeans, which is why I am gonna buy a darker version of these jeans. But this one, I feel like this outfit in general is just perfect, like a black jumper and like a lighter colored jeans. Just look. Oh, I look so cozy. I love it. Oh, I feel like the rock. How do you pose again? I don't even know, I don't know what the photo looks like. I see like a gold chain or something. I bought two belts. So I bought a thin one because I felt like on my office -y jeans, if I wanted like a belt look, I feel like a thin belt would look nice. I'm not going to do it properly, but you can kind of see. Um, it could work on these jeans, but I kind of like the idea of a thicker belt. Now this makes me look like the rock. Get back, boy. I like the look that a belt gives on certain outfits. I don't even know how he poses. Just a disclaimer, I will not be wearing this to the office, um, but I bought it for a potential holiday that I will be going on in November. But it's not been booked yet, which is why I'm saying it's potential. But this is the dress and it is about this length, it's so lovely. I really like it and I feel like it will be lovely on like a nice evening or even like a walk. Um, out and about. Ignore my food belly. But the good thing is, if I ever got pregnant, well, when I'm married, I feel like this would stretch enough. Maybe not for the whole way through my pregnancy, but like the first and second trimester. Depending if I have twins or not, I really don't want twins. Lord, you hear my cry. I don't want twins. There are people that want to just have twins and get the two out of the way. The thought of not just only giving birth, but giving birth twice and having a fat humongous belly and having to change nappies and what if i love one more than the other let's be honest what if one comes out cuter than the other like what am i gonna do because it's not like you have one baby then you wait two years and have another then you've only got one you're like oh this is cute cute baby but if you've got two same age looking at you staring at you in the face there's gonna be one that's cuter i'm sorry there, there, there is and i'm not a mother yet so maybe i don't have motherly instincts yet where i would just love my child all the way but there is gonna be one baby that i'm like you are not as cute as your sister you are not as handsome as your brother it will look good in pregnancy so let's just pretend but yeah, I love it. Oh, I did buy a bag. I have had this bag before, but the zip broke and it has been living on a paperclip. Paperclip? Pin? 
safety pin. That's what they're called. Been living on a safety pin for about two years. I love this bag. That's why it's so worn because it's, oh, I just love it. I feel like it just goes with everything. Like no matter what, you are wearing this bag will do it for you it wasn't even that long of a haul but see the thing is i was actually originally going to do a haul and a q a in one video you would be here till next year i don't know what i was thinking because i talk for days in my q a's anyway like every single question i go into a whole philosophical conversation about it it could be something as simple as like what's your favorite kind and i'm like well you know the lord thinks like what that has to be a separate video but a haul a haul lets my mind go rampant. Make me do a haul and I'll be sat here talking about my childhood in 2005 because something will happen and I'll start thinking about it. So we're talking about my first period story, something weird. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll be doing the Q&A in the next video because I am aware that I have not answered those questions yet. I love you guys so much. Have a lovely week and I will see you guys in the next video.